Hey guys. Okay, today I'm doing my train with me in this beautiful snowy winter time. I'm not gonna turn off the winter effect. I usually do for December train with me's, but you know what? It's pretty, so we're keeping it. I'm gonna be reading your embarrassing moments. I'm really excited. Some of these look pretty good. I'm not even gonna lie. Let's get started. I'm pre-filming this video. It's December 10th when I'm filming this because I'm going on a trip for Christmas break with my family, but you know, I don't wanna leave you guys hanging. So I'm pre-filming so that you guys have videos to watch while I'm Break. You know what? You're welcome. I actually just realized I did all of the Christmas races already. It's totally fine. It's, it's fine. It's casual, right? There's a huge hole right there. Yeah, so I didn't know I was going to be filming this video today, so I already did the Winter Village races for the day, and I already did Vail to Lake race. So you know what? We're just gonna, we're just gonna do the normal races. I got a lot of responses. I'll try to read them all, but like, I never have time. <laughs> Sorry. The first person said, hi, I'm a big fan. This is a long one. My most embarrassing moment when it starts to our stable with when I did a few champs and I failed all of them. Now I'm good at champs and the same people were in the champ for all of them. I'm very, I'm very confused. My second one is when I was in my club doing dressage. I kept doing the wrong move because my club has been active for about a month and it was first practice. I did a couple weeks so I was very rusty. Love your fits. Hope to see more of you and how your channel goes. Thanks, that's so nice. Yeah, it's always embarrassing doing the wrong moves for dressage. I fully relate to that. And it sounds like the next person agrees with us. They said when you run into a wall in club dressy, Oh, fully, yes. And I used to play on a, until recently, I had a Mac mouse and I play on an iMac. Oh, my mouse turned small again. What the heck? And it's like one of those, it's like a touch mouse. So like if you swipe your finger up the mouse accidentally or your hand goes up on the mouse, it automatically moves your person forward. As you can imagine, that was really annoying. Like really annoying. When I was in dressage, because if I made one wrong move, it was over. Everyone was like, Rose, why did you just start galloping? And I was like, I can't even, I can't even explain to you guys what it's like having a Mac here okay and now we don't have those problems now i get lost everywhere i go because it's snowy and I'm not used to it keep getting lost in the snow when pepita and woodier magical halloween fjords were coming out and i was trying to think of names for them i was trying to come up with a name for the pumpkin horse i looked up halloween names online found one i liked and i was talking to my friend about it the embarrassing part about it is i almost named the horse dementia <laughs> i pronounced it dementia i then had to play it off like i was joking and then awkwardly changed the subject yikes <laughs> also yikes to my writing. Hopefully nobody saw that right now. I joined a small club and on my first meeting, everyone was ignoring me. I was super shy at the time, so I went through a whole mental breakdown because I thought they all hated me. Turns out my mic was broken the whole time and I was just talking to myself. Oh, that makes me sad. No, seriously, that just happened. I feel like this has happened to everyone at some point when you're talking and everyone's talking over you and you realize your mic is off <laughs> or your mic is not connected. And then you realize like, oh my gosh, I've been talking the whole time, but I've been muted. It's like the worst ever. Also, I'm riding Walter Hobbs, um, the horse I bought at the Christmas update this year because the new Christmas horses haven't come out when I'm filming this. And you know, I love Walter Hobbs. He's he's a real cutie. I'm glad that your club didn't hate you and that they weren't being rude. It's definitely awkward being a new person on a Discord call in the club. It's really hard to get to know a new club. I think people are usually not trying to ignore people. They just don't hear you or they're distracted. You know, it happens. I think in my last train with me, I really went like a lot of different places I don't usually go. So I'm going to go to good old Silver Glade. Let's go to Steve's. <laughs> I don't know about anybody else, but it's like a few days before they release the Christmas horses, if that puts things in perspective for you. And I finally reached 9,000. What is it even called? Winter magic? 9,000 out of 18,000. I've been working so hard to get 18,000 by the live stream because I want my graphics to be good for the live stream. Honestly, the things I do for you guys. <laughs> okay. Lining up for a championship and then starting to run on the first countdown when they finally make race groups instead of running on the second countdown for when the race is actually starting. I end up running when no one else is and I don't have enough time to get back in the race. Oh my gosh. Well, don't they usually give you like a warning? Like you will be kicked out of the group if you leave the starting area or something like that. That's really sad for you. I'm sorry. Whenever I crash into a jump or fail somehow else in a champ and then won't be one of the last people to finish. Oh, that's me every time. Those of you who always see me at the champs, you know I be crashing in every champ and I be coming in last. Sometimes I'll come in second and then sometimes I'll just be like dead last like I hit 50 poles and to be fair if you ever see me riding around Jorvik crashing multiple times it's because I'm watching Netflix while I'm playing okay <laughs> sometimes there's an important part sometimes I'm watching something with subtitles and homegirl gotta abandon this SSO champ or the race to watch an important scene so I don't need the judgment okay isn't everything so magical during Christmas sorry I don't have re 
shades, you know, like, like the graphics are like a little strange, but it's magical still, right? Um, ignore the hay that I'm holding. We just don't talk about it. If you're watching this years later down the road and you're wondering, Rose, why the frick is there hay and a brush in your hands? Maybe there will be a chainsaw later. It's it's a glitch and happening this winter village update. By the time this video comes out, maybe they'll have fixed it, but that's the joy of pre-filming. It's a beautiful thing. I'm definitely hoping for some more IRL embarrassing moments too. So it was my fifth birthday and it was Frozen themed. I was dressed as Anna and I remember I wanted to sing Let It Go. So it was the beginning of the party and my mom had turned on the musical ready for me to sing when it was too early and I felt so embarrassed. Oh my gosh, that's so awkward. As if singing in public Let It Go isn't embarrassing enough. Singing at the wrong time is always, it's just, it's uncomfortable. I'm sorry you had to experience that at your fifth birthday. Luckily, when you're five, you can recover. Here, I'll share, I'll share an embarrassing story that will make you feel better. When I was five, I was in ballet classes. You can probably tell from my channel, I'm not the type of girl who does ballet. We discovered this later in my life, but I was in ballet, you know, and when I was younger, I was pretty shy. So one day in ballet class, I really had to, you know, go, but I guess I was scared to ask. So I just, you know, did my pants. Since I was in ballet class, it was, you know, a leotard. So, and let's just say I never went back to ballet class after that. That was, that was my last ballet class. <laughs> Bonus, not embarrassing story, but cool. Since I'm non-star writer and I usually club hop a bit because I can't find any good ones, I finally got one. It's one of the three most popular clubs in my server called Fall Hunters. Um, okay, that, it's not embarrassing, bro. Like, Okay, this person said, I have two quick ones that don't seem that bad, but they were very embarrassing. I can't wait. Once I was riding a horse on my birthday and when it was time for apple bobbing, I hated apple bobbing. So I just stayed on the horse while the others did it. Then my trainer asked me to get off the horse and I thought he meant to do the apple bobbing. So I said, no, not my proudest moment. And I did kind of get told off. That's always uncomfortable when there's a misunderstanding and you come off as rude or something and you're like wait i don't even know how to explain to you right now that, that i we had a misunderstanding next one is i had my helmet on and i was holding some sparkling water or coke i can't remember and my trainer asked me to pass me my hat and i thought he said my hand so guess what i do i said no because i thought he was gonna steal my drink i only realized he's saying hat when he says it more strictly and my friend nods p.s it was a good thing he checked because my hat was not safe to use oh my gosh that's good. It's very important to have a safe helmet. I know like if you drop your helmet or you have a crash or anything, it no longer works. Like helmets are designed to like break on impact to protect your head. So you do have an old helmet or when you had a crash with, you need to get a new helmet. That's very embarrassing. It'd be weird if your trainer asked to see your hand. Mm, not gonna lie. Falling off a horse in front of everyone. Oh yeah, that's, you know, there's no unembarrassing way to fall off your horse. You usually end up landing on your butt and it, you know, it's just, it's just silly. Like after everyone realizes you're fine, then everyone laughs. It's like, it's just, it's embarrassing. I ride a lot like on the street because there's streets between me and the trails where I ride. And so on the street, a lot of embarrassing things happen. Like weird people pull up next to us and try to talk to us. It's kind of uncomfy. I almost get hit by someone at the gas station in their car while I was riding a horse, you know, things that you wouldn't expect to happen that are kind of embarrassing. Riding horses definitely puts you up to be embarrassed sometimes, but it's worth it. The time I joined a call with my then club on Discord to find out I was off mute after my granny came in and started yapping about her walk with her friend. Darn Pamela. <laughs> I love that your granny is called Pamela or her friend's name is Pamela. Whoever Pamela is, I'm, I'm really glad that happened for you. How blessed are you to have Pamela in your life? I dated who I thought was a guy for like two months. Turns out the guy ended up being a girl pretending to be a male. You never know who who's who on the internet. Here's a little check-in about safety on the internet, guys. <laughs> don't know who you're talking to. Even if you're talking to them, you really don't know who you're talking to. And please be safe on the internet, kids, okay? There's some weird people out there. Not really embarrassing, but when I was like seven or eight, my family and I went to this 4th of July festival thing. Like a person singing, there's rock climbing, fireworks, etc. When we entered, I must have let go of my dad's hand when he was getting something and I walked a few feet and touched what I thought was my father, but actually another guy. I looked at him and then my mom came and said sorry to him. I stood there so confused. My dad said, not to do that and always to hold one of my family members hands so now anytime i go somewhere i always make sure to remember what my family's wearing lol i love doing these keep up the great work are you ready for the christmas update i am so ready have a good week and weekend yes i'm enjoying the christmas update since now the update is it's here thanks for the submission you know that's we've all you know as a kid we've all accidentally mistaken a stranger for one of our parents even now like i've even mistaken strangers for like my friends and then you like start talking to them and they look at you and you're like, you, 
so you're not my friend and then you're just gonna like giggle and like cry in shame it's it's embarrassing oh my gosh i have so many of these i'll go with a recent one so at my school the hallways are really cramped and kids take like forever to get their coats on and off i think you meant hallways and i was coming back from my break and i saw my friend in another class and wanted to tell her something so i tapped her on the shoulder and stopped forgetting people were behind me then someone like i don't even know i think i advanced and tripped on my untied shoelace because i'm a procrastinator and out of reflex grabbed the kid in front of me and that's not even the worst part that like two teachers and at least 30 kids saw me but that the kid in front of me who of course had to be a boy was like that boy pushed me i'm a girl love your videos <laughs> oh my gosh i'm so sorry this happened to you that's that's really embarrassing there's just no way of getting around it that was a plot twist at the end when i had names off on sso and i thought this one person was my friend from the club so i went up to her and said hi pookie <laughs> she calls me pookie so i call her it back and then she turns around and says what and turns around then runs away i did it in global chat so it was even worse okay you know what that's pretty embarrassing i always accidentally use global chat instead of say chat i've had this happen a couple of times when people come up to me in game and they want to say hi and i don't realize i'm still in global chat and then i'll be like oh hi and then everyone in global is like hi rose and then people are like who's coco rosewater and then it just starts a whole thing you know i find that to be embarrassing i changed my home stable to Veildale village because of the fireflies when i was a starter i was standing next to someone and they were talking to someone they said i love your horse and i said thank you you. they weren't talking to me <laughs> <laughs> that's like one of the most embarrassing things that has also happened to me you like think someone's complimenting you and you know if they were nice they would just be like play it off and be like oh you're welcome but like it's the worst when they're like i wasn't talking to you you're like oh okay just let me log off real quick and never come back again so once when i was on sso my club was having an event and i told them i couldn't come because i was too lazy i logged on a few minutes after since i forgot completely about it and they ended up spotting me and i got in a tricky pickle i love how you call it a tricky pickle I also love how you used the excuse, I'm too lazy to log on for a club event. I think you need to work on your excuses. Here's a few you could use. So sorry, I have a dentist appointment. Sorry, my mom is making me do chores. I have to go to soccer practice. And these are some examples of excuses you could use. I guess it wouldn't work because you did log on and they were on. See, that's pretty uncomfy. My most embarrassing moment happened literally like two weeks ago. I work at a doggy daycare slash boarding facility and it was like 10 minutes until close and there was one dog left in daycare. So I started mopping just certain parts of the lobby and i see the pup's dad drive up so i go behind the desk and i mention to the dad like hey i just started mopping the floor it might be a little slippery and i check the pup out and then i go back in to grab him i come out of our side door into the lobby and this dog is crazy excited and he pulls me i trip on the carpet and i slip so bad on the lobby floor <laughs> after i literally just told the dad to be careful right in front of him it doesn't seem so bad as you think but i literally did the full charlie brown fall and fell flat on my back anyways love you and your vids thank you um, I've never seen Charlie Brown really, so yeah, that's that's really awkward. There's just no getting around it. The next person said, I think my most embarrassing moment was when I first was at my first show and I was doing speed barrels because I was too scared to do actual barrel racing. I didn't even place and I wasn't wearing the nicest show outfits because I'm poor. Our tech wasn't super nice either and everyone seemed to be judging or staring at me. I had a horrible run after when I was cooling off my horse. We brought two horses and they are really attached to each other. She started getting really nervous without the other one. She freaked out and I hopped off and walked the horse back to our stall with everyone watching me and my friends started yelling at me which i honestly forgot why and i was so annoyed at that point i didn't even listen to her because i started unpacking and grooming my horse also my friends placed and i was the only one at my barn who didn't and it's embarrassing then my mom brought me home the end i hate shows i'm really sorry you had this experience i have some comments on this most of the time maybe even if you feel like people are judging you they're probably not they're probably worried about themselves i know it's hard to tell yourself like people really don't care about what you're doing they're usually just worried about themselves and if they really are judging you for having worse clothes than them then their opinion is not worth worrying about anyways because that's really rude and honestly just immature and you know we all have bad days it sounds like you had a really bad day but don't give up keep trying it can only honestly be better than that experience right but yeah that is too bad i'm sorry my dad and i was at a store ordering food and i was just standing there when all of a sudden a silent but deadly dump came out of me <laughs> what and then my dad started sniffing the air and quietly asked if it was me when i said yes i blushed then a man came behind me and <laughs> I must have smelled it and quickly walked away. Oh my gosh. And that would have already been kind of embarrassing, but the fact that a stranger became a part of that is too much for me. I would have died. When my club dared me to yell in global, I like eating cheese off my cousin's toes. Yeah, it was very embarrassing, but turns out a lot of people enjoy doing that too. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh, thanks for the follow-up. I'm glad you were able to take that survey of SSO for us. <laughs> Mine was when I was at my real life stables. Me and my friend were riding and I was on a horse. Everyone wanted to ride. All of a sudden I rode her. She bucked and turned too fast and I fell off of her. I'm quite experienced now, which is embarrassing, but I could only trot on her because I had lost my confidence. I never wanted to ride her again. Love your vids. Oh my gosh, that is embarrassing. That's the thing about riding. Every once in a while you do have those experiences that shake you. Like no matter what level you are, I feel like it just takes one experience to kind of shake your confidence. I totally understand that feeling, but it does come back. It just takes effort and being persistent. My most embarrassing moment had to be when I was in middle school. I had really bad bladder problems and the teacher wouldn't let me go to the bathroom. I ended up letting myself go and told everyone it was just apple juice. <laughs> oh my gosh. Of course, the boys got down on hands and knees and sniffed it saying it didn't smell like apple juice. I was so embarrassed. I am so sorry. That is humiliating and that's really uncool of your teacher. I feel like teachers are like trained to like if it's an emergency you need to let them go it's like that's a basic human right right so sorry that happened to you when i was a noob i would put on the most crappiest outfits ever intact p.s love your vids <laughs> Honestly, same. When I was a noob, I did a lot of things I'm embarrassed about. But you know what? Everyone's a noob at some point and it's a beautiful thing because you get to look back and be like, yeah, those were good times. Hi, I love your vids so much. My most embarrassing moment are really whenever my friends start yelling out downright lies, like who I like and what I like about them. Anyways, have a great rest of your day. Oh, thanks. Oh my gosh, that's kind of uncool. I would not want to be friends with people who purposely tried to humiliate me in front of everyone. I mean, unless they really do have your back. It sounds like you might need some new friends. When I think about this now, it's so embarrassing. When you select something in creative, it comes up with the, you must restart the game to enable this. I remember absolutely bawling my eyes out because I thought I had to restart the whole game from scratch. At the time I was around nine, so I didn't understand the difference between restarting the game as in re-logging and restarting as in restarting again from scratch. Oh, okay. So like when you go into like creative settings, they're talking about like when you change certain settings, it says you have to restart the game to change the settings. That's really sad that you thought I meant restart the game. I feel like it wasn't embarrassing until you just told us. Now, now it's embarrassing. <laughs> my most embarrassing moment is when someone advertised for a spicy role play. Oh my gosh. So I joined thinking it was about peppers or something. It was not about peppers. Oh my. I've never seen an ad for a spicy role play, but I cannot even imagine. I'm so sorry you had to see that. Okay. Cool, so I went for a swim, um. So many embarrassing things happened to me. One, so one day I told someone that a virgin was a lady whose husband passed away. Okay, two, coughing on water every time. I don't know why, but I'm in the middle of class and I'm just over here coughing and everyone's like, are you okay? Oh my gosh, so relatable. I cough on everything. I cannot eat with people because I can't focus on talking and eating and swallowing at the same time. And then they just like, it gets all quiet and everyone's just waiting for you to stop coughing and in your head you're like so like i'm never gonna stop coughing for the rest of my life so y'all should just keep talking or even worse is when i cough on my own spit or i choke on my own spit that's always fun number three i play sso my dad asked me if my friends play and i just told him i'll ask them by the way love your vids merry christmas thanks i love how your embarrassing moment is that you play sso um relatable none of my irl friends play sso that i know of and you know being a horse girl it's it, it's a rough life you just gotta embrace it so basically my cousin dared me to get a really ugly outfit on SSO and ask someone to be friends with me. And I did. Then they said, uh, sorry, no. And yeah, sorry, I couldn't think of anything really embarrassing at all. I mean, that's kind of embarrassing. Good job. You, you really came through for us. <laughs> yeah. I feel like friending random people, I doubt that they said no because of your outfit. They probably just didn't want to accept friend requests from people they don't know, hopefully. <laughs> this is an SSO. When I start a long convo with someone when I'm about to log off, like I don't want to be mean, but I was just about to press quit when we started talking for a good while. <laughs> oh my gosh, I know. I hate that when you're like literally about to press quit and then one of like your good friends logs on and you're like, oh, it's gonna look like I just logged off because the second they logged in, but I swear it wasn't on purpose. One time when I was a noob and my club owner did a role play and she asked me to be her servant. And so I did because it was my first club. I asked her if I could borrow her dress and her horse to go somewhere or something like that. And then I saw that I killed her horse and wiped her horse's blood on her and I got banned for like a week. And when I logged back on, I moved to servers. To this day, I'm so embarrassed by the way i love your vids they make me smile every time to watch them oh my goodness that's so dark um you know let's clap our hands let's let's put a hand together for this next submission which is 
the clear winner. This person went beyond expectations, put so much thought into this, commented, can't remember. You know, I just really appreciate you taking the time to read the question and then submit that you can't remember. Thank you for that submission. That's, that's amazing. So when I was younger, I was friends with a girl at my barn. We did shows and such, and whenever we would win, we would smack each other on the butt with a crop whip. Sounds kind of weird, but it was a tradition. I can already tell this is going to be a good one. So I had one, and I saw a girl cleaning a saddle, just doing just normal barn work, and go up to her and smack her on the butt. She slowly turns around and goes, what the f And it is a middle-aged woman. A middle-aged woman. And I just gasp and run off. Let's just say, I have never done that since. Oh my goodness. That is so awkward. That's really legit embarrassing. Um, At that point, you can't even explain yourself. You can't be like, oh, sorry, like I thought, you know, you were my friend. Like at that point, you just run. You run and you change barns immediately. It's the reaction for me. Once I was playing in a realistic role play and I accidentally wrote something in global and that I should have put in group, someone wrote back three question marks. Also happened with the mini movie, but it was an actual conversation with myself. Yeah, it's always embarrassing putting it in the wrong chat, but you know, people will forget the next day. Okay, this is probably the longest submission I've ever received in my life. We're gonna do our best. My most embarrassing moment was when I was trying to get into a club. So there was this club that I really wanted to get into and my friend knew that I wanted to get into this club. So we were at a race and I went to some group members and we started to talk to my friend once in a while would say, why would you say that in global? Even though we were on the phone. Well, after the race, I messaged one of the girls to ask who the club owner was. After me and the club owner got along really well. At this point, it had been a week of me trying to get into the club. My friend and I showed up for a race. My friend randomly went to the club owner and said, are you going to invite my friend to your club or what? The owner said, aw. And then she said, help. I was so embarrassed. So I went over to the club owner and said, I'm sorry. My friend got upset with me the next day. I got a message from the club owner saying, you can join our club. Okay, I, that race is, I cannot finish this. <laughs> It's too long. At this point, she probably thought I was really young, even though I'm a teenager. At another race on the same day before, my friend said that I typed out, I'm obsessed with your club and I decided not to send it. I thought I hit the delete button, but I accidentally hit the send button. All the club owner said was, oh, thank you. I'm so embarrassed. Anyway, I joined the club. She didn't really talk to me. I don't even know how this happens, but when I was checking out the information, I accidentally left the club. <laughs> I was so upset because I've been trying to get into the club for a long time. I guess I took it as a way of the universe saying this was not right for me. So now we're just friends and sometimes talk at races. P.S. Love your videos. I hope everyone has a great Christmas and gets everything they want this year. XOXOXO Dolly World. Sorry if my submission was too long. You don't have to read it all. Well, I did. Yeah, that's, um, it's really uncomfy. Okay, I think Moreland is gonna be my last place just because I've been training for about an hour. The space on my computer at this point starts to become an issue, you know, life. Earlier this year, actually, I was on a college fair trip with other students. My boyfriend and friends also went throughout the time all of us were there. I actually had a lot of fun and I learned some stuff until we went to dinner. I was in line waiting for my food and my boyfriend was sitting pretty much a few feet away behind me with a huge group of people. I'm not the type of person to display PDA really at all and I'm a pretty shy and awkward person. Anyways, another student that I know came up to me and told me that I should give my boyfriend a big hug and a big kiss pretty loudly for everyone to hear. I didn't know what to say and I could tell my face was turning extremely red because I could feel the heat. Then I decided to deny him and walk over to my boyfriend and give him an awkward pat on the back. Not the worst that could happen, but for somewhat shy and awkward person, it was horrid. This is my pretty much my worst nightmare. I was actually just talking about how I'm really not a PDA person. I really don't like when people are like way too much PDA, and I really don't like PDA myself <laughs> personally. And so this sounds like my nightmare when people try to force me to, you know, be touchy. Fall down the ice, someone. <laughs> Please don't say my name. Oh, I can't see your names. This is anonymous. That's why I use a Google Forms. Falling down on the ice is literally so embarrassing. I fall out on the ice every winter. People tell me when I fall that I fall really slowly, like in slow motion and like gracefully. And to be honest with you, I just don't know how I feel about that commentary. I've received it from multiple people. So apparently some kind of gazelle, but I'm a clumsy gazelle, you know? In February, I showed up at my crush's house at midnight to move in. There was some stuff with my parents and it was really bad. Anyways, obviously his dad wouldn't let me stay there and they drove me back home. But as soon as I got out of the car, his dad speeded off. I think he hates me. Oh, Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I really hope everything's going okay. I hope you find a safe place to be. And I'm sure he doesn't hate you. He's probably just trying to look out for his kid, you know? Back in my SSO roleplay days, I became really good friends with this boy and we always did wild roleplays together. Nothing 18 plus. This is good news. Well, after four months of constant roleplay, he asked me to talk on Snap and I said, okay. A few weeks later, he told me he was in love with me and we started dating. Can you guess what that led to? A few days later, we was in a roleplay and he started, oh my goodness. I unfriended him 
I moved servers and blocked him on Snap. I was so scared. He then found me on another server with my new friends and told them we was dating years later. I was very embarrassed. That is a predator. Guys, you gotta be careful on the internet. Like, you never know who you're talking to. Uh, guys, that's so weird. I'm sorry that ever happens. And PSA, don't give your personal information to people on the internet, guys. We're some weirdos. For those of you who have been bothered that I haven't leveled up my horse for the past few races, here you go. When I fell on a trampoline into my cousin's knee and broke my nose, which also came with waterfalls of blood coming out of my nose, and then me looking like a chipmunk the next day. You know, that is embarrassing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that happened. This is the most embarrassing thing that has ever, ever, and I mean ever, happened to me. I was eating dinner with my family, and I mean my whole family, so like 25 plus people during Christmas dinner one year. I was wearing a t-shirt, which was, I guess, sort of low cut. I was just chilling, eating my food, when suddenly everyone's quiet, and my aunt, who was sitting across from me, says my name and asks, what's on your neck? I was so confused because everyone was staring at me, so I was like, I don't know. And I go, got up to go to the bathroom, and I see what they were talking about. To my surprise, there were like, or on my neck. I literally was so embarrassed because I totally forgot and then everyone in my close family had just seen this. Um, homegirl, what? What is this? What am I, what am I supposed to do with this story? And the next person's submission is a little more tame. <laughs> he said, leaving a club while the club owner was online. Yeah, that's, that's awkward. The next person said, I farted really loud in class. It was so embarrassing and the guy next to me scooted over and I literally died inside. Oh my, oh my god. Why is farting so embarrassing though? Someone said playing star stable. You know, honestly, sometimes same. I can barely find my mouse. Like this has been, it's just too much for me. Okay, so about three and a half years ago at a horse camp in the indoor arena, me and six other girls were standing in a circle throwing a ball around. We just finished unpacking after our ride. So we were kind of just chilling before we ate lunch. Every time the ball would come to us, we have to say a funny story or a joke. I was young then, so everything made me laugh. I also had a weak bladder. So after laughing, Laughing really hard multiple times, I peed myself. I stood there and stared at my legs. Then a girl told me to run to the bathroom. They didn't have bathrooms at this barn, so I had to run to the porta potty. It was so embarrassing, especially because all of the girls were about two years older than me and I was really trying to fit in. In the end, I got clean pants from my mom and I haven't spoken to the girls in a while. Oh my goodness, that's literally so embarrassing. I, okay, I guess I'm holding hay. Thank you guys so much for the submissions. If I didn't read your submission, sorry, submit one for the next train with me me in January and hopefully I'll read your submission then. I just get too many. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.